What are the red flags with co-ownership? You hear a lot of talk about co-ownership lately, uh, and truthfully, some of them aren't actually co-ownership, and I'm gonna explain why. So there are three types of co-ownership. Well, the first two aren't really co-ownership, but let's put it this way. There are three things that people are calling co-ownership. So the first is rent-to-own, right? They don't call it rent-to-own, probably because that has some not so great connotations sometimes. People try to change the name. Uh, but basically that rent-to-own is where, you know, you have an investor who buys a property uh, you pay them some deposit and then typically a higher uh, monthly rent and they apply some of that rent towards the equity in the property uh, and then at the end of a agreed upon period of time, you know, three years, four years, five years, you have the option to purchase the property and will have built up a down payment. The downside of that is sometimes people don't can't close after three, four or five years and the investor gets to keep the funds and the property. So you know, that's the risk in that scenario. The real benefit of rent to own is actually, you know, some people that wouldn't be able to get into ownership because of credit situation or what have you are able to, you know, get into the property that they want to get into and with the help of an investor are able to stay there. So it's not good or bad. It's just, you know, it's a different way of approaching things. The next thing, well, they're calling it co-ownership, but it's not really, it's the shareholder model where, you know, you put in money into, you know, some type of corporation and they go out and buy real estate. They gather a pool of investors and they go out and buy real estate and give you a return on that money. And at some point sell the property or rent it and give you an income stream. So that's really what I would call a share owner model. So in, you know, in that case, you're also not on title personally for the property. The corporation is and you're a shareholder in that corporation and it's fine but uh, you know i guess the thing you need to know is they're making money right <laughs> you're really the seed capital and they're the ones really crushing it in the real estate market the watch out here is actually in both of those models rent to own and the shareholder model is you are not on title right you are not the owner of the property even though they're calling it co-ownership somebody actually else actually owns it and you're providing equity and, you know, maybe you're living in the property, what have you. Now, the third one is actual co-ownership where you go on title, right? So where you buy a property with other investors or other people that are going to live in the property uh, and you, uh, you know, live there with them or you just invest and rent it out and make money, uh, but you're actually on title and you're getting all the benefits of the property, be it rent, appreciation, all that kind of stuff. So, you know, that one, if you're looking for true co-ownership, is actual co-ownership. So, you know, there are lots of ways to get into the real estate market. You know, and truthfully, uh, you know, some of these things are good for people for various reasons and situations and circumstances. But, you know, I would say the, the, the best thing, the thing you really want to get to is having your name on title somewhere on a city of Toronto property because you're gonna get the most benefit from that, the most capital appreciation and all that good stuff that goes along with property ownership. So hope you found that hugely helpful. Uh, if you have any questions or if you wanna co-ownership, you wanna get into co-ownership, uh, that's actually something we specialize in. Uh, we do a lot of that for our clients and we have investors that are willing to pair with other investors or potential people that wanna live in properties. Uh, we do it all the time. So shoot us an email, info at thinkto.ca. I hope you enjoyed this video. <laughs> please like it if you did, so I'll know to make more of this type of content. And please subscribe to this channel where you get more updates of lots of interesting information like this. Talk soon.